Hey, welcome to video 10 of the Lead Guitar Quick Start Series. In this lesson, I'm going to teach you a solo that incorporates everything that we've learned up to this point. We're going to keep it pretty simple. We're just going to use the three scales that we've been working with, the major scale, the major pentatonic scale, and the minor pentatonic scale. If you're just jumping into the series on this video, I'd really recommend that you go back to the first lesson and start from there because we're going to be learning every single aspect we've learned about music, technique, skills, all that stuff to play through this solo. So the three scale shapes that we've learned, the major scale, G major, the major pentatonic scale, the G major pentatonic scale in this case, and the minor pentatonic scale, which is gonna be an E minor pentatonic scale in this case, we learned a G minor pentatonic scale. But we're gonna be moving that exact same shape up to where our index finger is starting on an E note. So this becomes an E minor pentatonic scale. So if you need to work on that in this position, Now is a good time to do that. So I have a new jam track for you that you can play this solo over. It's basically a 24 bar phrase that you're gonna be playing this solo. The first 16 bars are just a G major chord. Then you're gonna have two bars of E minor, two more bars of G major, two bars of E minor, and you're gonna finish off measures 23 and 24 are just a G major again. So right now I'd recommend you just pull up this jam track and listen to it just so you can get a feel for what this jam track sounds like. The jam track, the 24 bars are repeated four times throughout this jam track. That way you can kind of loop it and work on the solo over and over again. Here's what this solo sounds like by itself. This is where you're gonna be learning. Once I play it for you, we'll break down each little lick and each phrase so you can learn the thing step by step. So let's take this solo and break it down just one phrase at a time. You're going to start off with a major scale lick, and your third finger is going to be on the fourth fret of the G string. What we're going to do is bend that note up a half step. So one, two, three, four. That's the counting on it. So one, two, three, four. Come back to the second fret of that same string, the G string with your index finger. One, two, three. Then for the three and four of that measure, come to the fifth fret of the D string with your pinky. And then you're gonna kind of roll your pinky over to the fifth fret of the A string and hold that out for six beats. One full measure, so one, two, three, four, one, two. And then you're gonna rest for beats three and four. So that whole first little phrase is kind of our repeating theme that I was talking about in the last lesson. So here it is all together. That's like the first phrase of our solo. The next phrase starts out with the same bend. So one, two, three, four. But from there, you're gonna go up to the fifth fret of that same G string with your pinky for one, two, then three or four, you're gonna go with your middle finger on the third fret of the B string, and then hit that note again for six beats. One, two, three, four, one, two, then rest for beats three and four. That's the second phrase of our solo. So 
it will sound like this. And those two phrases together make up kind of the first sentence of our solo. So here's what it sounds like. So that's the first sentence. The next sentence of our solo starts off with that exact same reoccurring theme that the last sentence did, this one. That's the first phrase of the second sentence. The next phrase starts off kind of the same, but we end up with this, this sentence with a little pentatonic run. So we're gonna start off kind of the same way. But from there, we're gonna just walk up the G major pentatonic scale starting with our first finger on the second fret of the G string. Then the fourth fret with your third finger. Go over to the next string, G string with your middle finger. Fifth fret with your pinky. And then you're gonna end on this G root note to finish off that phrase and that sentence. So that last phrase of that sentence. Then the pentatonic run. So let me play the whole second sentence of this solo for you. And one thing you're gonna to wanna to do is on the longer notes, so. Make sure to put some vibrato on those just to give it a little more expression. So those whole first two sentences together of this solo, let me play them for you so you can get an idea of where this is kind of going. So, so far in this jam track, we've been playing over a G major chord the entire time. That's why we've been using a G major scale and a G major pentatonic scale. But the next two measures are gonna switch to an E minor chord. So we're gonna adjust our playing to use an E minor pentatonic scale. That way it just fits the whole sound better. So what we're gonna do, I told you earlier, we're gonna use our G minor pentatonic scale shape and move it up to where our root note is on an E up here on the 12th fret of the low E string. So the lick in measure 17 is basically just walking up an E minor pentatonic scale, which is perfect because we're playing over an E minor chord. What you're gonna do is pick the first note of that scale, hammer on to the 15th fret, go over to the next string, pick, hammer on, next string, pick, hammer on, and then you're gonna go to this note on the 12th fret of the G string, and then come back to the E root note right here on the 14th fret of the D string. And that's the whole kind of first little phrase of this sentence, so. And don't forget to put some vibrato in on that long note. So that lick covers measures 17 and 18, which are two measures of E minor. After that, we have two measures of G. And all we're gonna do to kind of adjust our playing to play over the changes is grab this G note right here on the 12th fret of the G string. It's an octave higher than the open G string. So you're gonna play that for a whole note. One, two, three, four. And then another whole note. One, two, three, four. And that will take care of measures 19 and 20. Measures 21 and 22 go back to an E minor chord. So we're gonna adjust our playing to use our E minor pentatonic scale again. What we're gonna do is basically repeat this lick we just did on the first E minor chord. But it's gonna be an octave higher. We're gonna start on the 14th fret, this E root note right here on the 14th fret of the D string and play up just like we did. 
that. So just walk up that scale from that E root note. When you get to the highest note, come back to the E root note right there on the 12th fret of the high E string. And that's your long note for that phrase. Measures 23 and 24 move back to a G major chord. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna switch back to a G major scale, but instead of playing it down here, we're basically just gonna move that up one octave to this G note right here on the 15th fret. This is gonna be kind of our reference scale shape. Still G major scale, but it's one octave higher than we played down here. And the lick is really easy. You're just gonna put your pinky on the 17th fret right here, bend it up a whole step, let it back down, and then just play this G root note right here on the 15th fret with your middle finger, and just hold that out. So one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So this is a pretty simple solo, but the cool thing about it is it literally applies everything that we've talked about in this series so far. So once you get this down and you have it learned, pull up the jam track and try to play this solo over the jam track. Once you do that, experiment with these scales over the jam track. And just remember for the first 16 bars, you're gonna be playing a G major or G major pentatonic scale. And then for the next two bars, you can switch to an E minor pentatonic, switch back to a G major for two more bars, back to an E minor for two bars. And then the last two bars you can, are gonna go back to a G for you. Don't forget to use all the tips we learned in the last lesson, like phrasing, building your solos dynamically, all those types of things. Try to emphasize the root notes, for example, G root notes, when you're playing over a G major chord, and emphasize the E root notes in the E minor pentatonic scale when you're playing over the E minor chord. So I'm gonna give you an example right now just of what you can do with all the things we've learned if you really work hard at it on a consistent basis. Here you go. So if you have any questions related to soloing or the solo that I wrote out for you, you can leave them here and I'll try to answer you as best I can. Also, you can email me, nate at guitarsystem.com. See ya.